welcome everyone good afternoon good evening depending upon your time zone i am myself anil kumar rawat working as a technical expert in human electricity transmission company today i will be presenting the remote management of the protection relays which is used for the protection asset management applications the application module is called e protect we will be also going through slightly on the etep remedial action scheme one of the module we use for the load shedding protection scheme in the for the 220 kv interconnection line to the gcci grid first of all we will be going through the agenda as a what is our who we are as a otc introductions then after we will give you some project highlights what was the challenges in our project implementations uh, what are the what were the over objective of this project Uh, how we achieve that objective through the epetex solutions to achieve this objective how workflow was made and how the communication architecture was implemented how this uh, solution uh, helped us to achieve our objectives and at the end also we will going be going through the 220 kv gcci interconnection network load shedding scheme uh, through the eras uh, remedial action scheme first of all i would like to give you some of the introduction about our company My, our company name is Oman Electricity Transmission Company, which is a uh, main main transmission company in Oman. In Oman, there is a two separate network. One is in north, and another is in south network. We in south northern region transmission network we call as a MIS main interconnected system, and another is southern which in the Topar regions. We are transmitting power from the generating station to the distribution load centers in all over the Oman. Through the our 132 kV voltage level network, which have a backbone of the 400 kV and 220 kV network, we are mainly also responsible for the balancing, the generation as well as the demands through the economic dispatch of the power. Our network consists actually total more than 90 kV stations. For that, we have a three voltage level different 400 and 220 kV and 132 kV more than 65 kV stations we have uh, in our network. we are getting power generated from the nine number power plant out of that seven is the uh, gas in, gas power stations and other uh, one is photo pv is photovoltaic and another one is the wind farm plant in the southern of the oman our project highlight is we call as a as a remote management of the protection relays and special protection scheme in this project we have actually more than 90 kv stations integrated integrations for the for more than 4000 relays which is all over the uh, oman uh, over all the most of the protection relays are numerical relays which have actually uh, one network connected for the time synchronizing on the 6150 either on uh, and another uh, some of the older versions of the relays are on 103 relay protocol also we will also this uh, special protection scheme implemented for the uh, fast loading uh, shedding systems and uh, there are some action remedial actions for the uh, any uh, specific contingency in the our power plant first of all what was the driver of driver of this project um, we actually did not have any the data of this central uh, asset informations Uh, and uh, it is also very difficult to map all this uh, electrical equipment data for hundred number of stations. We we have a ma uh, routine many incidents in the network. For that incidents, we require actually root cause analysis, and uh, we, we did not have a standard any uh, the fault look look uh, fault recorder data repository where we can store all the fault data as well as we can. Analyze any times, and we can analyze how which type of fault was when happened, and uh, what kind of the phase fault was there in which line, how many times occurred, and what type of the weather was there. We did not, we do not have any uh, such uh, uh, detailed data management system for the fault recorder. We do not have also any uh, uh, data collection method for the uh, fault recorder. All the protection relays we have to go to the site. and then only collect the uh, access the relay through our computer through native software and download the um, fault recorder or either we have a one an engineering workstation in the scs three stations uh, where we will 
uh, automatically the fault record has been collected that we will have to transfer to the pen drive or to the hard disk through the uh, implementing the cyber security all the requirement and then it was a very uh, cumbersome task actually to, it, it takes too much time as well as we have to travel every time to the site which was very demotivating and costly and also time consuming most of the, our time was used in, in the driving to the site which is mostly in the side of very far away. And also manual process, sometimes in our protection relay, we do not have the firmware or the match is not matching in the uh, native software application in the laptops and we are uh, drivers are not there updated. So we faced actually connection problem. So many times our engineer get disappointed even after traveling such a lot uh, far away. And it is a, Obviously, it is a tedious process for the every time uh, to go get the fault records and, and in the need of the hours when the some one transformer is in, our, in under maintenance and in, in the transformer uh, tripping happens and protection engineer is not available at the site. The restoration is a very, very important uh, task for our company as a reliable power supply. Hence, we have to immediately mobilize our protection engineer to the site and which takes a long time actually. So, and also another difficulties are that we have many different make of the protection relays, sail, ABBs, Siemens, uh, Toshiba, GE relays, and also they have a di different models ranging from the uh, 1995 to, to 2020. So uh, every time, so we cannot find the uh, uh, expert person for all the protection relays. Hence, we derived a project uh, and uh, we invented bid and the Mrs. Tape was the successful bidder for this project, uh, which proposed actually to implement the centralized software system, which will communicate to the all the relays on, on the 6750 over Ethernet, and it will collect and store the data. It will have a central uh, setting management systems. It will have an automatic retrieval of the uh, large amount of the data. It will also be able to uh, track the relay setting and notifications. It will also monitor the It will also monitor the any health and asset sales status of the um, uh, relays as well as bottom. It will also allow us to upload and download of the relay setting. It will have a remote access to the centralized system through the fast and reliable IP network. Which is which has a backbone of from the our MPLS uh, communication system of our our own uh, uh, communication department or the fiber network. So in this project, we would install the IED software, and this will allow us to manage all the IEDs through the proprietary native software. It will allow us to collect all the fault records and related setting application through the centralized systems. Uh, EProtex. Software have actually a uh, facility to manage, analyze, and all the protection related data from the one place. It will offer us the integrated power system analysis also, uh, which, which, which we can use for the during any protects, protection incident or network. Uh, we will have also advanced fault monitoring systems, which is called AFSS, to manage all the fault record repository and which will support our incident report analysis and better health index uh, of the asset. This eProtect have actually many features, but I will be going through this just important points about the eProtect Relay Explorer. It has an integrated power system analysis, uh, fault uh, analysis systems. It has a, also the fault management and service restoration, which is mainly used for the distribution company, which we have not activated for our restrictions. We have also a facility to connect with the integration with the GIS and the SCADA system. We have integrated with the, our GIS, but uh, ISCADA we will be exploring in the future. We can also monitor our real-time monitoring of the, all the relays by, with the parameter directly accessed in the software. We, and main features of the, this pro project is uh, the complete file download and web viewer uh, for more than 4,000 protection relays. This e-relay explorer have actually many features like remote configuration of ID, setting change management and history. It, it can fetch all the alarms and events. We can see the trends and also 
all the geospatial web visualization of all the ID in the exact location can be seen the, through this relay explorer. The integrated power system analysis allow us to do the relay protection relay coordination. Um, we can use the star auto evaluation, automated protection coordination analysis. All my friends are very much familiar with the uh, star auto evaluation and star jet distance protection scheme. How we can achieve a very uh, a very well protection system setting uh, through the these two softwares and coordination analysis. So after getting this all the relays, we will be transferring to the ePROTECT will transfer to the ETEP system and ETEP model system will um, we, we will be evaluating all the relay setting for this coordination purpose. This is the workflow actually, the subtraction relays, then get red, vendor proprietary software in ePROTECT relay system, uh, explorer and the ETEP power simulator is as a work, may, as a final uh, um, activating the applications which will verify the uh, our setting coordinates. What are the benefits? Okay, we have actually completely now digital twin model for the old protection relays uh, where, where we have installed the gateways. We can see setting change management can be achieved. We can track the uh, relay setting change and notification is also there. We have a visualization and evaluation. We can uh, monitor the our health of the our protection relays. And as we have, explained previously that advanced fault management system and import the protection device settings up to the our net uh, ETEP model system. We can all the download setting we can download to the FTP on 6750. We, we have a, a web interface to the mobile device also possible. This we will be exploring in the future. Right now we have not activated. We can we have also upload blog the setting, uh, uploading of the setting for the protection relay remotely as per our cybersecurity guidelines. We have uh, activated this automatic notification for the setting change whenever there is a somebody change in the setting in the site. We will get the notification this existing uh, the previous setting and change in the settings. All this data will be commonly available for all site to the users through the VPN connection, we have a remote login possible for our engineers. So they will be able to see how many were in the network. We have also integrated with the GIS also. This software actually eProtect have a ma main feature is the digital twin model, whatever we have exactly uh, at the site, which is uh, the physical asset, which we, will be con we have converted into the digital uh, map mapping system. Uh, it, we have integrated with the S3, uh, our G, GPS systems also, GI systems. We are achieving the complete digital transformation uh, through the ETAP ICE controllers. ICE controllers, uh, we will connect, communicate to the relays on 6750 and 103 real protocols. We, and all these, again, subtractions are connect, uh, these gateways are connected to the, our network uh, systems. And uh, as well as it have a feature to connect with our SCMS also, but uh, we will be connecting to the SCMS later stage. Right now, all uh, our gateways are connected as an individual network around more than 55 gateways to the uh, central station. What are the digital twin features? Uh, we have seen actually is mainly we can categorize as intelligent models we have through that design and analyze can be possible, validate and deploy. Through intelligent operations, we, we can achieve through the control, maintain, and optimization of the full network. This uh, project we have implemented uh, as per this uh, architecture. All the protection relays was connect, connected to the one of the Ethernet switch, uh, which we use for the time synchronizing systems. And then all this switch was connected to the name, one of the uh, gateways of ICE gateway uh, provided by ETEP. And all these gateways again was connected to the, our Oman electricity transmission uh, telecom network. And all the telecom network was connected at the centralized station. Uh, and one LAN was created through the fire and everywhere, uh, all the cybersecurity and firewall implementation was uh, implemented as per our uh, agreed from uh, architecture. At the end, we was able to get all the relay 
fault records in the one of the servers and the one of the another server we was storing all the fault uh, fault records in one of the workstation we use as a application server during this implementation of the project we faced many difficulties <laughs> anyhow we when we start any project, there will be many difficulties and we have to be prepared to face all of them and overcome all the challenges as it, with the hard work and in, in cooperation between internal as well as external stakeholders. So we faced also various release setting file and ICD file collections uh, and uh, uploading into the ICE gateways. Uh, sometimes uh, we, we required a, uh, ICD files, sometimes we required proper project files, so that which was not able to, we was not able to get the site. Uh, also, we faced a huge difficulty in the 103 relay, older uh, reroll relays and MyCom um, P122 series and 127 series uh, to retrieve the fault records uh, and for the uh, networking of them connection on the parallel RS485 connection. We also faced the access uh, limitation of the all the relays remote through the due to the network architecture limitations for the subnet. Subnet, we was not initially able to allow the prioritizing based on the security in the event list. We also faced difficulties in the, between transferring of the relay setting from, from the relay to the ETEP model and again to the protect and vice versa, both of them. But after the hard reports and, and cooperation between all the parties, we was able to resolve all these parties. These are the learning lessons for a project implementations, uh, which we can use for the future uh, faster implementation of any project. We will be also going through the slide uh, our one of the another project uh, which is similar to this, uh, which is called we called as a remedial action uh, scheme. Uh, this we have uh, implemented for the 220 kV line interconnections, uh, uh, line uh, preservations during the exigency or emergency. Uh, here we have we'll go through the solution descriptions, uh, how we took controllers and load control logic was done, done and uh, how we have achieved the this uh, our designs through the factory acceptance stems. And uh, at the last, we will also go through the system architecture diagram also. In this project, we have uh, some of BMU will be streaming data to the uh, RAS controllers and then servers. Uh, BMU we have selected for very high quality and very high sampling grade data can be provided continuously to the uh, schemes. Uh, this Raw data RAS controller will process and identify whether the line is loaded as per the design scheme and uh, when we require to start the load settings uh, in the other various grid stations, which is spread over the around 12 grid stations all over the network. This RAS controller will be communicating to the get, gateway to the 12 grid stations all over the 650. So we can achieve very faster uh, load setting scheme. Our overall project. Uh, target was around 1.5 second, but at the end we was able to uh, achieve this target less than one second also. Uh, minimum 500 milliseconds we require for the algorithm process data for the stabilized measurement for the over power and, uh, and the uh, scenario detection whether one line is in service or two lines in service. As a scenario once occurs in the central RAS controller, we will issue command to the respective controller, act for the uh, over the X6, 650 goods, and that will give command to the third key feeders to sell the, to trip the load. So how we uh, achieve this one, we first initially developed the grid model, which was, uh, and uh, that we converted in the digital type software. And this, we had a, uh, created a different scenario and that scenario we transfer, transfer to the hardware in loop simulator. And then we verify this logic is as per the design and uh, the last logic uh, will uh, perform as per our design that we validated and the factory acceptance test. Uh, our main intention for this uh, factory acceptance test was the various scenario uh, verifications whether when uh, we have this 220 kV line, only one line in service and uh, whether only one breaker is open, maybe how much uh, load was previously and what is the change in the delta load. So all this scenario we verified to, through the uh, creation of this uh, logic uh, during the factory acceptance test and the, all this test was passed. 
by this uh, logic implementations. Uh, this load setting controller will be sending command to the around 12 grid stations various uh, remedial action scheme and that will trip the third grid feeders. This we achieved through the IS goose, uh, IC 6150 goose commands, um, which is very familiar. We are all familiar very, very well, which is type AMB class performance. We, we achieved the transport time better than four milliseconds, still less, sli slightly lesser than the four milliseconds. Uh, mes message was the statics, uh, static size because only we have to just trip the uh, third k outgoing feeder. So, so only one binary output command has to be activated at each grid stations. Um, but here with this, this uh, IS gateway, it was possible to multicast MAC addresses also. Future versions is all of basic logics and mirroring also. Um, uh, we achieved synchronous uh, using the uh, software based PTP uh, 1588. Uh, time synchronization, but here we did not re, uh, re require that much time synchronization. One, one millisecond was enough, so we have connected through the uh, one PPS uh, from the uh, our central uh, station at the Mahadagri stations. We will not be going through the detail through the load control logic as it is were very complex uh, to detect the overloading of these lines during the existence in many of the power plant, but uh, we have achieved it through the different uh, scenario development. Uh, this was the, our factory setup, test setups where we simulated through the hardware in loop uh, through the we, we used uh, uh, one of the uh, stimulator from the uh, high, high, iPhone name, I, I don't remember exactly the name of the simulator, uh, but uh, this was uh, connected to the, our ETEP controller, RAS controller, and ETEP ILS servers over the 6750 and DNP network. And then we create a different scenario through the PMU simulation. This is the system architecture we deployed for the uh, uh, at the site. Which is connected to the around 12 grid stations, where all the gateways was connected. And this gateways we have will be having a four output command to trip the thunder cave feeders. This controller will get the uh, commands as per the load setting requirement from the uh, ILS as well as the uh, RAS controller. It will detect how much load to be detect, uh, detected, and then according to that output command will be activated. Uh, according to the uh, overloading of this uh, lines connected to the GCCI connections. Uh, thank you, everyone. I hope uh, this uh, our project uh, we will be uh, sharing sharing of this project will give some some of the lights and confidence for our other fellow uh, our utility uh, peer uh, protection engineers or the system designer to implement such type of the cases in future. Once again, thank you, everyone, and have a nice. Uh, interactive for the presentations to everyone.